Hey, what's up, YouTube world? It is your girl here, the Venusian Bull, and I am continuing my series of the planets in the houses. And in this video, we are going to be talking about Venus in the second house. I always get like excited when I talk about Venus. It's my favorite planet, I'm the Venusian Bull. <laughs> so uh, Venus has a uh, special place in my heart. Um, Venus is, uh, Venus in the second is similar to having Venus in Taurus, um, with a Taurus or Libra air. So if you have Venus in the second house, you're going to be, you know, very Taurian in nature specifically with a little Libra up in there. Um, remember the second house does, does have to deal with earned income, the er income that you earn on your own, um, money, possessions, your self-value and your self-worth. So I want to start with the self-worth part because it's Venus. Like this is somebody I would say Venus in the second house who is very cognizant of their value and self-worth because Venus in and of itself has to deal with value and self-worth. So I would say that this is somebody who's confident in who they are. They have um, a high self-esteem, but it's like not obnoxious. It's very um, mild-mannered, easy to to deal with, you know what I'm saying? Because it, it's not like Sun or like Mars energy. It's very um, balanced, you know, uh, Venus. And, um, you know, this is somebody who definitely takes pride in their things. Any planet in the second house is going to take pride in what they own, but it's all about making it beautiful, making it peaceful, making it harmonious, you know, making it serene because that's very Venusian in nature. So like the sun in the second house, Venus in the second house can be kind of lavish spenders because remember, they like the best, they like the most beautiful, um, the most lavish, as I mentioned. Um, so just remember uh, that and to, you know, try to be extravagant like on a budget <laughs> you know what i'm saying within your means remember being within your means with venus in the second house please um venus also has to deal with money as does the second house the venus rules taurus it corresponds to the second house so we all in our like home domain here when it comes to venus in the second house so this is a very comfortable place for venus this is an area that will attract uh I'm sorry, this is a placement that will attract money, that has the potential to attract money, especially possibly from lovers or relationships and things like that. So, you know, you can earn money by, you know, getting a new relationship or partnership because of the business that they do, it aligns with yours or something like that, or you start a business together um, and things of that nature. So um, definitely keep that in mind. Uh, ways that you can earn income, the arts, doing something that's artistic, singing, dancing, being an artist, like a, a visual artist, painter, you know, sculptor, um, acting. Um, also, uh, on the different tip, Venus in the second house could be like a really good, you know, accountant. Venus has to deal with money. Venus is diplomatic. Venus doesn't necessarily take sides because it's about balance and things like that. So that could be, um, very good for you. Um, something involving law for the same reasons. Um, and that's kind of like the Libra aspect of Venus and, you know, the balancing act, um, and things of that nature. But just remember that Venus in the second house is all, Venus energy is about beauty and harmony. Like it can't be something that you're doing to make money that's harsh, that's foul, that's ugly, that like you're not going to feel at ease and comfortable and have that peace of mind if what you're doing to earn money has this kind of hard edge to it or it's like, dark or you know something along those lines i don't really know how to describe it but it's all about making something beautiful i don't know do in interior designing that's a good idea if you are going to be an accountant that's kind of like a neutral field it could be kind of hard and dark or whatever but you know you could do something to make it more you know beautiful just like having your surroundings be beautiful can help um, a Venus in the second house person but Venus energy is good with money you know what I'm saying and that could give you peace of mind helping other people balance their money and do good things with their money and things like that so um, it's a good like advisor counselor type of position you know Venus in the second house you know y'all got it made yeah, that's a that's a nice little that's a nice little placement just be mindful of 
the lavish spending and of uh, extravagant spending, spending too much money, especially when it comes to like beauty and beautifying yourself. Don't be too vain. Don't be too vain. Venus energy can have the tendency to do uh, to do that. Or if you must be vain, do somebody's makeup and make some money. OK, if you must be vain, <laughs> do it in a way where you can earn some money, but do it where it's not. Um, you know, negatively affecting somebody else and make sure to always keep your self worth. Like, am I doing this? Am I buying all of these things to increase my self value and my self worth? You know what I'm saying? Do these things actually mean anything or are they just things? That's a lot of, that's what's going on in the second house in general, because you're dealing with actual tangible possessions and it's always the battle, especially when Venus is there because you know, balance, it's always the battle of what's important, what's tangible or what's intangible or are both important. You know what I'm saying? So um, definitely keep that in mind if you have Venus in the second house. All right. And thank you so much for watching this video. Remember to like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye.